Of all of the Jacqueline Wilson books that I read when I was younger, I definitely think The Suitcase Kid is one that stuck in my mind the most. In fact, there is a particular scene in this involving a tree and a Sylvanian toy, and I I still visualise in my head what I visualised back in the day whenever I first read this um, this was actually first published in 1992, which was the year I was born. So I think, just kind of thinking back, I maybe read this in about 2000, 2001 for the first time. I read this one several times. I absolutely love it. It's one of her most safe books. Certainly a lot of her more recent ones deal with a lot more hard-hitting novels, um, subjects, sorry, and a lot of them are kind of bridging that gap between child and, and, and preteen. But this one... I think definitely fits into the kind of, well, well, Amazon says it's for school years one to nine, which I think is a bit of a stretch. I'd say 10 years old is a pretty safe age, upper age, um, which it, you know, is about eight or nine. Fairly reasonable. So if you aren't aware of what this is about, I'll read the description from Amazon. And this says, when my parents split up, they didn't know what to do with me. My family always lived at Mulberry Cottage. Mum, Dad, me, and Radish, my Sylvanian rabbit. But now Mum lives with Bill the baboon and his three kids. Dad lives with Carrie and her twins. And where do I live? I live out of a suitcase. One week with Mum's new family, one week with Dad's. It's as easy as ABC, that's what everyone says. But all I want to do is go home, back to Mulberry Cottage. Straight away, we are dealing with a subject that a lot of children are affected by. Andy is a product of divorce and I have to say really likable protagonist and you know I think she's some somebody that is relatable to a lot of people she's kind of middle of the road she's not she's not like Tracy Beaker and overly feisty but she also knows her own mind and own own thoughts and you know has a little bit of stamina to her the fact that she carries around this little Sylvanian toy this little rabbit called Radish is adorable and actually probably one of the reasons why I find this so memorable. I loved Sylvanian toys as a child and there's that element of relatability and that's one of the reasons why I always prefer Jacqueline Wilson's contemporary novels or her contemporaneous novels where they're set in present day give or take. Her more historical novels are obviously great but I think the fact that she speaks directly to the reader with these elements of relatability and you know she'd name drops brands and Tracy Beaker's obviously full of smarties and just these little things that children can relate to it just gives it that extra dimension of them being able to realize that Jacqueline Wilson can talk to them on their level and does understand and I think that's such a powerful thing this is not the largest book Apparently, according to uh, Wikipedia, the it's 154 pages, which I think is a pretty healthy level for the age bracket. It's not massively long, but at the same time, it's got a good length to it that you can get stuck into the story. There's quite a big cast of characters in this because obviously we're dealing with two separate families, both of which are equally important to the narrative. But the driving force, of course, is Andy. And although nothing too horrific or harrowing happens... Just the fact that she's being carted between parents is is enough to keep the momentum going, to keep things moving forward. And, and as I said, it's something that's going to be relatable to a lot of children, m- myself included. And maybe that's why I related to it and remember it. Probably not so much the Sylvanian rabbit. But the Sylvanian rabbit in that tree is something that I will never, ever forget. It's one of my favourites in terms of how memorable it is, how easy to read it is. You know, it's not overly complicated and yet it still speaks to the reader. I think it's just exemplary with what it's trying to do. If you haven't read this one and you love Jacqueline Wilson, definitely read it. I think you'll really like it. It's safe, you know, compared to things like, I don't know, Love Lessons or My Sister Jodie. That that one's quite traumatising, let's be honest. Um, this one's a much safer read, but, but still very important. And in my opinion, one of the finest of her earlier works.